The uh, earthquake tragedy in Turkey and Syria is being viewed from a different perspective using overlaid building facades from Google Maps. Drone footage uh, taken shortly after the earthquake in Turkey shows the ruins of what used to be a vibrant main corridor in the heart of Antakya's old city. The New York Times overlaid building facades from Google Maps to show what was lost. Uh, joining us to discuss further, uh, Fisayo Durajai, who of course is a general partner at uh, Ancestors Advisory. Uh, Fisayo, good morning to you. Thank you so much uh, for Thanks joining us. for having me. When we think of Google Maps, right, we think of navigation. Navigation, yeah. Right. What, what do you make of what the New York Times did here with this, with the earthquake footage? I mean, it's, it's sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's sad first because uh, it, it made me appreciate uh, the ruins, you know, a lot more because, again, you just hear news and see pictures. Uh, you know, okay, this building collapsed, that building collapsed, but seeing the ruins today and what was previously occupying those places that are now ruined, you know, uh, you know and then seeing both of them side by side, you know, just, just makes you appreciate like, wow, this, this much, you know, is gone within the period, mm. right? Uh, and I think that that's, that's, that's one beautiful, I mean, that's one thing about Google Maps. I know in Nigeria today we have this thing called streets, streets, street view, street view, yeah. right? Uh, of, course, of course, across many other countries as well. Uh, but this helps us see clearly that okay, this uh, this debris that we are seeing here now mm. used to be, you know, a five, ten, maybe you know, three-story building uh, that is just gone uh, to to some uh, to uh, to that you know uh, bad earthquake essentially. Yeah. What, so the buildings have been destroyed, right? Yeah. They obviously need to be um, rebuilt. rebuilt. What, what do you make of what, your thoughts on 3D printing, especially used for, I guess, for build? I mean, 3D printing is used for all kinds of things, but for, for specifically for, I think, Icon 3D, there's a, there's a video they have on their Instagram page where they're showing this actually building buildings from scratch using 3D printing. What do you make of that? Yes. Uh, what we've seen about the technology is that it's still nascent to a, to a large extent. Uh, I've not seen proof that it could be used to build, you know, skyscrapers for instance yeah. right but it helps you know build the form or the or the or the carcass of a building uh, quickly rather than just trying to lay blocks or bricks over themselves and then having one person you know it could just be printed through uh, you know within a, a very short period of time mm. in a day or two you could build out a frame of of a two bedroom apartment or a three bedroom apartment by just you know the technology just moving around and printing out uh, you know the the walls, essentially, as they go. Uh, but particularly for this particular case, uh, looking at the buildings that were ruined before yeah. and what it is, I, I'm not sure we have the technology today, uh, you know, with, th with 3D printing to, to, to build up those, you know, massive buildings as, as, as they were before. So mm. uh, maybe if it's, a, well, let's relocate, you know, new, maybe new settlements for mass housing, for, you know, for, for, for the poor or something, yes, 3D printing might be the... the the ideal way to quickly build out uh, and then and then deliver the, I mean the project in very short time. Um, we're going to go back to Google Maps now for tourism. There's yeah. a, they've got a virtual explorer option where you can visit you know famous sites, yeah. right? What, what does that do for the What does that do for the uh, for the tourism industry with respect to being able to visit those sites? I mean, it's 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 interesting. I mean, largely because uh, so for me, I want to you, you want to visit somewhere, you know, uh, say. You want to go to Mount Everest, anyhow, you know, just, you know, at the feet, you could see clearly, okay, this is what the experience will look like when I physically get there. Mm. Or you want to go uh, on some tourism or to Lesser Hatch, I mean, to anything you want to do, right? All of those, you know, key sites, you want to visit uh, Paris and then just visit the tower, you know, all of those you know, issues, uh, you're able to see them from the comfort of your home mm. using Google Maps because, again, uh, it's 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 more like an improvement on on the street view, as it were. But this time around, is 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 targeted towards you know just seeing live action from those you know uh, those tourist places that you really want to visit. And I think it's also uh, good see it first virtually before you experience. I don't think it will replace you know experiencing because there's no there's no view of Lagos you can see from anywhere that would, that would erase the experience of living yeah. in the city, right? And I think it's, it's the same for many cities across, across the world as well. All right, so, well, okay, what about the privacy and security part of this? And I wanna bring in the TikTok uh, uh, CEO getting grilled um, yesterday because the whole argument has been that the Chinese government has links to ByteDance through TikTok and then there's the whole issue of security mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So if we, if we rope that in, 
where we are going now with what you can see with street view tech and so on um, virtual tours and so on and so forth is there a privacy risk or security risk there i mean privacy again as was to suggest it's about your private information right this is about public viewing of, of things so i'm not sure how much privacy concerns i have but with tiktok again uh, i think there's always been this argument is it is it political or is it is there a, actually a valid concern around uh, you know uh, TikTok and its link to the Chinese Communist Party? And I think that those are the uh, critical things. But for me, I think it, it's 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 first political before any national security threats because what TikTok is doing is what you know Facebook does is what you know Google does. Everyone you know does this. You know uh, Facebook, Instagram collects data from any from everybody, mm. right? Uh, and they could have as well shared some of those data with 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 the FBI, right? But if the hypocrisy of the U.S. is uh, is is that's in, well, uh, TikTok will share data with uh, with the, uh, with the Chinese government. What about you know American companies taking data and then sharing this same information yeah. with with their own government? So it's like it's like well, we can own nuclear weapon, but Iran can't. You know, again, it's it's those it's those uh, you know hypocrisies that I'm I'm, I'm particularly worried about. Mm. Uh, but again. Everyone has right, right and everyone has responsibilities and not the right responsibility of, of keeping themselves safe online. So I don't have TikTok on my phone, for instance. I don't need it. I'm too old for that. <laughs> right? I tried using it. I tried twice, but I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't work with it. I, I deleted it. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's so. your personal responsibility. Okay. These are the approvals I give. These are the approvals I don't give. Mm. Right. And then, as much as possible, keep your lives, you know, away from big tech as as much as possible. But again. Uh, for some of us, for so many people, their lives are dependent on, or their livelihoods essentially are dependent on those on those issues. But uh, we'll see how it goes. In fact, someone had mentioned that we, why are we concerned about privacy today? Back in the day, we used to have yellow pages where people's phone numbers were displayed. Were displayed. <laughs> so this, are, this are, <laughs> so there, were, there have been privacy issues way back, even in the analog era. Mm. Uh, we're just transferring those same uh, privacy issues to the digital era. Nothing has uh, particularly changed. changed. At a time, look, we're going to bring you back because I really have to talk to you about AI, chat, GPT, and education because you're in the expectation speech. But we'll do that. We'll have that discussion at a time. That's fine. Right. Besides, you're a general partner, uh, Ancestors Advisory. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it.